Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and also Brink, and we are one. So today I want to talk about day four of the challenge, the weekly Steam Deck challenge. Now, my main focus has been installing uh, emulations, emulators, and old games through CDs. And just, I have a huge CD collection, um, and that's what I'm going to talk about. It's, just, it's, it's, it's a small update video today, but I, I do want to do this. This is going to be one of the, this is going to be the, uh, low before the high, I believe, on these video updates. So um, with that, still a lot of exciting content. But before we do that, like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Now let's get into it. So emulators, they're always kind of the thing that I always miss, like the small details when installing them. Uh, I had it working like first try, um, best ever at this with SNES and N64. <laughs> I've never really had issues doing that type of stuff. Um, and once again, I'm using MU deck, which uses retro arch, which also uh, doesn't include all the emulators, but then MU deck does download additional emulators for GameCube and uh, switch Uzu. And so it, MU deck is a godsend. I love it. I definitely recommend installing through that uh, route. It's a little convoluted sometimes, but as long as you just, follow the instructions, which are pretty simple. You should be able to get through it just fine. I was able to do it. You should be able to do it. Now, with that, I was able to, once again, get SNES and N64 working, you know, a week ago. I, I've had those working for a little bit. It's the PlayStation, um, Xbox, those types of things that I couldn't get working. And I, in the past, I, I have those systems. I've had ways to play my older games, um, not that I play them very often, but I do like a blast from the past and picking up, especially RPGs, um, picking them up and playing them every once in a while. And I have the systems, so I haven't had to worry about it too much. But now that I'm on the go more and I have the Steam Deck, I really, and this is like the perfect device, this and the Odin Pro, I believe, are going to be the perfect devices for emulating um, because typically I want to do it on the go now with emulations. I don't want to sit down, hook everything up to my TV and try to play a game. And plus, I like being lazy in my bed. So I started going the, down the route of installing everything I needed to, debugging and just seeing where I, I missed stuff with the PlayStation. And it really comes down to you just need to get BIOS files. And I've talked about that a little bit. Um, and I can't really like, I can point to an article that will point to another article on how to do it. Um, I think that's safe enough. And I'll have it in the description below. But um, you can, that's, that, that's how you can be able to get, like, there's a couple of ways to do it. One of them is the, the safest route is getting, is actually ripping them off your uh, device. Um, but, uh, like, the PlayStation and all that. But there's, there's other ways to, to get them, obviously. And so you can, um, once you get the BIOS files, then you just need to, uh, after installing MU Deck, and I'll do a video on this, don't worry, um, or I'll point to a video where people have done, I mean, this has been done multiple times by other people too. So if once you've installed MU deck and it's done the whole configuration, it will ask you before everything really installs where you want to install MU deck and where you want to have your ROMs and everything like that. Where, where does the emulation occur? I chose SD card. I recommend having a dedicated SD card to doing this just because then it's just easy. You don't store it on. I don't, I don't recommend storing it on the file system, even a five twelve gigabyte, um, deck isn't that large, but with uh, micro SD cards, then we just, you know, you, the, the you, you're just going to have to have lots of SD cards, I guess, with if you're doing a lot of gaming, but it's a better option, I think, than just filling up and trying to manage their 512 gigabyte storage or lower. I have the 256, and so definitely SD card. And ROMs don't take up a lot until you get into, like, PlayStation Plus. That is, then starts to take up gigs. Um, PlayStation, I mean, not so much, obviously, but like it does start to stack up. With that, the um, when you install to the SD card, it will create an emulation folder, and inside that folder has a ROMs folder, which has which in that has subfolders for each emulator, and that's where you copy the ROMs. And then inside of um, if you go up, back up into the root emulation folder, it will also have a BIOS folder, and that's where you copy your BIOS. Uh, BIOS, uh, BIOSes, BIOSes file, <laughs> and 
files and folders. Um, if you get a pack, it will come in a folder uh, with folders and files. You can copy that into there and it should work. The tell is just make sure you have a good ROM to test it out on. Like with PlayStation, I ran into the problem of testing it out on a bad ROM that I must have installed um, just not correctly or something like that. And it didn't work. So when I launched it, it would crash. I'm like, okay, well, it might be the BIOS. It probably is. And it, and, it, and technically it was because then all the other games, I, I had a couple other games on there and they didn't run either. But every time I was trying to test the BIOS thing and just tweaking with where the folders would go, I would test the same uh, game. But then once I finally like, okay, we're going to retry this. I'll uh, delete everything on the BIOS. Just do it with the with the um, the way it was kind of just supposed to be intended, which um, mo- a lot of the BIOS fo- uh, files are on the root of the BIOS folder. And w- so once I did that and I launched the right game, it just ran. So um, I got that working. The one thing I don't have working is Switch uh, with Uzu yet. Um, there's a little bit of a process there. And I also have my Switch. I haven't, I haven't ripped my ROMs off my Switch yet. I don't know if I can say that, but... Well, we'll see. So, yeah, I ha- I'm going to be using my own games. I, I, I All the games I have for the Switch, I I don't want any more right now. And I let, you know my my thoughts on piracy. Uh, own the game. Uh, give money to the developers. They uh, It always helps you get better games in the future. If you don't support your studio, then they might collapse. So, with that, um, I, I, I'm, I have some work to do. I have some additional videos to put out this week. It's going to be a fun week. Don't get me wrong. I'm not draw like this is this is going to be definitely the update where I'm just getting a lot of things done. Um and I I will get content out on more on emulation and installing and all that. I still have the remote play stuff to get out to and I still have um I still have game development stuff that I need to get further into to kind of complete this week. And I have my surprise day um, project that I want to work on. So with all this, like, can you, can you do your normal day work and everything on the steam deck? Yes. Unless you're streaming it, (laughs) which I don't know if you want to trust just yet. I've just, I've had enough lockups with that type of thing that I just, I I definitely can't put a stamp of approval on that. Um, but video editing works great. Um, it sucks that you can't use DaVinci Resolve's free edition with the video formats that I want. And also, it it, it still has a couple issues, like Discord and whatnot. Um, but it's it's sick. And if you need a desktop and you need a budget, well, if you need a budget desktop, this works. But I will have to say, the Steam Deck, my favorite mode is game mode. It just works great. It's smooth, UI, UX. From my bed is amazing playing my game. So uh, with that, let me know in the comments below if I'm missing anything. Is there something I need to be covering? I will be covering uh, some older games that people have requested. Uh, It's just it takes time to get to that. Uh, I will be doing a bunch more. um, I I have a list of things, uh, but I want to know in the comments, am I missing something? What is something that you really want to see me do in this challenge or... What have you liked seeing so far? So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Check out my other videos. Later!